Hi everyone, let's talk about Ka. Ka is a New York MC, rapper, wordsmith, uh, storyteller, who has been at it for several years, I would say over a decade now. His style of rapping is very idiosyncratic. It's very unique to him. His flow is very whisper quiet. It is almost spoken word as well. And whenever he drops an album, it's usually about one particular thing. This time it's about Abel and Cain. He also has a great way of connecting the ideas of his album to his personal experiences or to people of color, African Americans, the way he grew up in New York City, etc, etc. Now I've been aware of Ka's music for a while now, but I never really took the time to fully dive into his discography. Not only just under the Ka name, but under his group Natural Elements, as well as Dr. Yen Lo, and of course the collaborative album between him and, I can't remember the producer's name, uh, Hermit and the Recluse. Animos was the name of that producer. He also helps Ka on this new album over here, which stylistically isn't really anything new for Ka. He isn't really turning over a new leaf on this album, but I think what really makes this album stand out amongst the rest, in my opinion, is that his flows and his bars and just the way he can tell a story and write a story is impeccable. Given the right samples and the right beats, beats, he can really make a song engaging from front to back. And that is no exception on a good bulk of these tracks. Now a lot of the production on this album is sample heavy. You get a lot of these uh, samples from movies that detail Abel and Cain. They're all from like the 1950s and 60s and 70s. You also get a lot of these like finger-picked guitars that have some piano melodies on top of them and maybe a little bit of drums, maybe a little bit of percussion that goes underneath into some of these songs. They're very faint. I think the only time I notice it and it becomes like super apparent in the track is the last song, I Love. But even then, it is so non-important to the song, uh, but it does add a little bit of a embellishment to the track as a whole. A lot of the songs on this album have a very similar idea to one another. Again, these very somber, dark, nocturnal samples that are used and him just rapping over them. Samples from movies where there's a line that's being spoken by a character in a movie uh, happens on many of these songs. Many of the movie samples on this album occur during a transitional moment on this record. Uh, for example, the opening track to this album starts off with a sample, and the track The Eye of a Needle, actually in the middle of the song, there's a sample which then transitions into a different sound for the track. I would probably say the first part of The Eye of the Needle is probably my least favorite moment on this record. I guess the instrumentation on this track in particular just kind of sounds out of place. And there are other moments like the song Pray, which I do like. I do like this song, but I wish it was a little bit more conclusive. I just feel like this song kind of ends a little bit abruptly for my liking. However, the rest of the songs on this album are great. They're awesome. They're really well done. Because the one thing that I really like about this album is that there is just so many layers to this thing. Ka is a very detailed rapper and his lyrics and his songs are very dense, full of metaphors and similes, comparisons from one thing to the next and connections between one thing and another. Like on the track My Brother's Keeper where Cain is asked by God where is Abel and Cain's like I am not my brother's keeper. But that also plays into how Ka tells the story of brothers and how the term brothers amongst the African American community can relate to just people that are close. But I also like how Ka connects this to uh, friends and I guess brothers in the African American community and how black men can call each other brothers, even if they're not related biologically. Uh, it still connects to the idea of brothership and friendship. Also how brothers kill brothers and so on and so forth. Ka also talks a lot about his upbringing on this album 
And again, there's so much to dive into on this album, but I also don't want to say too much about it because it's something that I feel like a lot of people would be very interested in. Just taking the time, listening to this album maybe a few times, this is definitely not an album that grabs your attention on first listen. But listen to it a few times, really familiarize yourself with it, and then start to kind of pick it apart. Because this thing is a beautifully grim and minimalistic onion that has so many layers to it. And I find the production on this record to embellish whatever Ka is saying as well. And again, I wish some of the production might have been a little more varied on some tracks, and I would like to see Ka kind of step out of his comfort zone sometimes, because it does feel like he's doing the same idea over and over and over again, but I mean, this dude is an amazing storyteller, so I'm not entirely complaining. The one last thing I would like to point out about this album is specifically the lyricism on some of these songs. Uh, there are some amazing one-liners. Revenge is the engine with my heart steering. Enough disastrous crashes had to start veering. Kept two, never monochrome, my gift technicolor, like the coat of Joseph. Hope it don't affect my brother. They say rest in peace, the only peaceful gathering. If the Lord offered, would you learn how or take the fish? No dandelions, I got handed irons to make a wish. Many others, however, again. Listen to this. If you want to hear some great lyricism with some very interesting production behind it, this is a great album for that. And of course, this isn't going to be for everyone. This album isn't going to jump out at you. However, I personally love the hell out of this record. With some moments that could have been better, in my opinion. However, for me personally, this album is an A-. minus. However, I am curious to know what are your thoughts and opinions on this album down below. Let me know what albums you want me to review next, and that is it. Like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below. Remember, this is only my opinion because music is subjective.